Thursday night. And the starting five for Iowa along with Clark. Martin and Marshall in the backcourt. A falter and Stolke up front. Well, right away, Holy Cross coming out aggressive, trying to collapse on every drive. Marshall three, assist, Caitlin Clark. Teen made field goals. And it was the supporting cast getting them Here's Janelle Allen off the ball fake, off the bounce, goes to the left hand and scores in the lane and a little too short from Janelle. Okay, up the court. Right. Janelle Allen is so good around that free throw line area. She attacks off the bounce. Clark looking for Martin back door, blocked underneath. This is a disciplined Holy Cross team. They're not going to force things. Great double on the block, but you see their patience and points and handling it. Foreman will step outside and knock down the jumper. They are the overall number two seed in this tournament behind undefeated South Carolina, and they are losing early. Front rims it. Here comes Clark. Marshall gets a look and hits it. Going early in the ball game. Caitlin Clark has seven of those. McCormack steps away. Bothered by Fearbach. And another steal for Holy Cross. Brona off the mark. Offensive rebound and a stick back. And Holy Cross making the hustle plays right now. But collectively, they've been getting the job done. They've also got a couple of quick fouls now picked up on Lindsey Berger, number 35 in purple. And Brona Power Cassidy will knock down the three. For Caitlin with 3,771 points coming in to this NCAA tournament. Last year, in route to the national championship game, she scored 32 per night. Only Cheryl Sweeps had a better tournament run. Yeah, those 11 threes, the most in the country. O'Grady from Marshall. Oh, they look a little different coming out of that timeout. Power Cassidy, Allen's calling for it. A double team awaits. Here comes Martin to help. Forced a tough shot. Oh, Grady running the floor. Rim to rim. Oh, and a critical moment early on for Holy Cross as they've gone cold. Nice cut. Martin may have gotten a piece of that. Bothered on the shot and then rips it away from Brona who rips it right back. All alone, Power Cassidy hits the three. Well, this is terrific defense. Brona Power Cassidy stays straight up. She's able to keep a hand on the... Putting the power in the Power Cassidy on that one. Final minute of this first quarter. She'll try for a back-to-back -back and yeah. get it. I mean, they're, they're just really good in their execution. Checks the shot clock. Foreman staying right with her. Off the spin, the help comes, and one! There's no defense for shots like this, right? Terrific individual effort, staying glued to Caitlin Clark. Shot clock is off here for Holy Cross to hold for one, but they're scrambling right now. Iowa applying some pressure. Power Cassidy gets it up and gets it in! She's very proud of the four threes her sister is hitting here early. And does she take credit for her shooting as well? <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's Kate Martin. Marshall on the inbound. Well executed by Iowa, and they're up by 10. I mean, perfect execution. It's just the screen, the screener. Great job by Hannah Stokey to clean it up. Really good job defensively of keeping this Crusaders team out of rhythm. And spin it around to the other side of the floor. A falter for three. I mean, this is an Iowa Hawkeye team that moves the ball as well as anyone in the country. Pass up good shots. Get great shots. Sydney and Falter. Martin got it back to her. And then around the defender to O'Grady in a timeout. Holy cross. Three in the corner. And then in transition, Addie O'Grady, a 7-0 Hawkeye run. I think Holly Rowe has a report for us from that last time out. Holly? Yeah, a lot of confidence.
building in that last timeout for Lisa Bluter. She's reminding her team we see a great shot there from Verona. Talking about the free throw line, the trips for Sparks. She hasn't been shooting it from the floor well, but her teammates have. They're at 50%. So there's plenty of help for Clay Caitlin here in the first half. And, and that's what it's going to take. And for Caitlin Clark to continue to trust them, to trust that the game is going to open up for her. And there she breathes a sigh of relief. Oh, the left side step, step back. That's the specialty. You probably can't defend it any better than that. The hand in the face, the breath of fresh air. Take three minutes here for Holy Cross to linger, to hang close through the first half. Clark. Tracks down the rebound. The push. Sidestep for Taylor McKay for three. Almost came up with the steal there. Martin finds Clark. Here they come again. Those two are heavily reliant on their defenses. Martin back door from Clark. Kate Martin able to finish an easy two. But she will start out this second half already with three fouls. Same for Janelle Allen. So two of their starters have to be very careful. Allen off the bounce. Drives away from the double team. Stokey had two fouls in that first half. Martin the and one. And she is tough as nails. Great job creating the contact. Off the hesitation. Can't find the bottom of the net. Allen in the paint where she's been having her way. Martin on the inbound. Rebound, stick back, a falter. Such a good rebounding guard. Three-point field goal percentage wins versus losses because that's the strength of this Iowa Hawkeye team. The way that they can spread the floor, the way they can make you pay as Addison O'Grady gets an easy two. And Kate Martin and Gabby Marshall have to be three-point shooting makers. And they are five for nine today, so that's better than 30% as Allen connects. Left in the lane. Nice drop off for O'Grady. Flirting with a triple double again. 13.7 rebound. Allen, double come. She drops it off for Foreman. Count it. And if that's on Caitlin, that's number three. Single-handedly trying to get this Holy Cross team back in the ball game. The double comes. That's a terrific read. Foreman goes up for the shot. Caitlin Clark gets her across the line. Then they chip away at what was once a 20-point deficit. We alluded to it to Holly in the halftime interview, finding their rhythm offensively, getting production from all five players on the floor. Number one in the country in scoring, number one in assists, number two in field goal percentage, number one in most threes made. And there's another one for Caitlin Clark. Yeah, unfortunately for the Hawkeyes, her teammates have been picking up the slack. And look, we, we've seen a lot of growth in Caitlin Clark in terms of her leadership, in terms of her working on communicating with officials. It's, it's still going to continue to be an area of growth as she progresses to the next level. Foreman. Pushes the other way for Holy Cross with Cormac sidesteps the defender and hits the three. The Crusaders have found a little bit of rhythm on the offensive end. They're not going to give up. They're going to continue to chip away, but you got to stay in the space and not let 22 get herself going. Howard Cassidy trying to set up inside. Foreman looks for three. Off the crossover, goes to the left side and lays it up and in. McCormack swatted by Martin. O'Grady scoring inside. Hawkeyes are going to find her on the interior. This was a two-point game through the first 10 minutes. It's been all Iowa since, and another rejection inside. 
continued every year to get better on the defensive end of the floor, positioning themselves to make that run last year by being a better team. And now, if you take it a step further, the versatility they have. The, the crowd trying to pick up the energy. Clark gets the steal. And Caitlin with the land in the basketball, but she's done other things and assisting throughout the course of this ball game. And now on the defensive end of the floor. Another steal for Clark. Unopposed for the layup. Getting aggressive in the zone, getting in the passing lane, and getting herself a couple of easy buckets. Trying to take a business-like approach and keep the emotion out of it. Easier said than done. When you've been playing with uh, at least a couple of these teammates, a million people watched LSU-Iowa than the final the year before. Won by South Carolina over UConn. Well, it's been the perfect storm in a sense of the growth of the game, the way the game is played, how entertaining it is, social media, these athletes allowing themselves to be seen. Game tomorrow against Carolina as Kate Martin checks out probably for the last time. Gabby Marshall also has departed. Seven points, ten assists, eight rebounds, three steals the day for her. And some well-deserved rest to get ready for Monday. Falters, they continue to move the ball so well. McCormack, got it. for the steal, keeps it alive. Under four minutes to go, they're still running with it. McCormack again. An incredible senior class that started today in their 255th game together. The impact they've had on her and her family and what an opportunity they've had and the way they showed out. Certainly a great representation. Take a little boost of energy from the Yale men from their big Ivy League upset yesterday. You gotta check out Holly Rose Twitter. They're at Sports Siren. Come to watch Caitlin and stay for the other Caitlin. That'll be over on ESPN 2 and a chance for a three-point play here for Iowa. Well, you've got to feel good if you're Lisa Bleeder on a night where Caitlin Clark didn't really have it going in terms of her shooting percentage. But they locked in on the defensive end, especially in that second quarter. Coming up here shortly. Top scoring team in the country hits 90 again. And they'll pick up a win in the first round over Holy Cross, 91. 65.